While exclusivity has always been a feature in the fashion industry, the uniqueness of objects can now be owned and transferred in the virtual world using blockchain technology. A key advantage of blockchain technology is that it allows uniqueness and ownership to be made visible and executable on a decentralized basis. As creators of culture, it is the next logical step for the fashion and design industry to enable their brands and creations to live in the digital world. In today's video, I want to talk about a project with a low market cap of only $3 million. Anything in the crypto space is already a gamble, let alone a low market cap project, but I think this one is special, and if you see what I see, then maybe we have found a winner. In today's video, I want to talk about Luxo. I want to talk about its role in the art and entertainment industry and how you can be a part of this company's growth. So sit back, relax, and let's learn everything that is Luxo. Luxo is in the middle of a reverse ICO, and when launched, it will be built as an ecosystem for creative communities in gaming, fashion, social media, and more, and it will enable true digital ownership of physical products. With non-fungible tokens that are already growing in popularity on the Ethereum network, Luxo's dedication to bringing creative pursuits to the blockchain could radically change how influencers and brands interact with their audiences. Now, I'm sure some of you are asking, what's a reverse ICO and what's a non-fungible token? So just to catch people up, non-fungible tokens or NFTs contain identifying information recorded in the smart contracts. It's this information that makes each different and such that they cannot be replaced by another token. Now, reverse ICO is something new. German regulators recently approved the reversible ICO, bringing new on-chain investor protections to the controversial funding mechanism that was the ICO back in the 2017 era. In case you were unaware, back in 2017 when the bull run was created, it was because of the ICOs. The ICOs allowed anybody to invest in a project before it launched, allowing tons of capital to flood the markets, creating overnight millionaires for months on end. The problem with this is there was so many people that got scammed and could not pull money out of a project once they realized they did not like it. They had no control of their funds, causing many people to lose money and lose faith in the crypto industry. With our ICOs, it allows investors to buy tokens gradually and resend their support and funding at any time. So who is launching the first R ICO? You guessed it, the Luxo blockchain project. Now who created the first R ICO? The same person who helped launch the 2017 ICO craze by creating the ERC20 token in 2015 with Vitalik Buterin. That's right, that Vitalik Buterin, the creator of Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency project by market cap, currently with more projects under its umbrella than all other cryptocurrencies combined, and it's all because of tools like Web3.js, the blockchain space's most used JavaScript library, a library that now has over 120,000 downloads per week. Now who created Web3.js? What if I was to tell you the same person who created the RICO and Web3.js and the Ethereum wallet and the first decentralized Web3 browser and the person who created the ERC20 and much more is also the man behind this project. That's right, Fabian Vogelsteller, and he and his wife Marjorie Hernandez, who has a massive list of achievements herself, a couple being working with Ethereum and working with IOTA Foundation, as well as being heavily involved with the branding and the art industry before founding Luxo with Fabian. They decided to create this blockchain built specifically for the lifestyle ecosystem. If that alone doesn't scream wow, then hold on because there is more to share. Like previously mentioned, Luxo is currently in the middle of a reversible ICO that will run through February 2021, with users able to deposit Ethereum to reserve tokens during the first month and throughout the life of the token sale. Tokens are then bought gradually over the course of the RICO, with users able to get any committed Ethereum back that has not already been spent on tokens. 
The Luxo mainnet is expected to launch in spring of 2021. Luxo is a EVM, or Ethereum Virtual Machine based blockchain. This means that any Ethereum smart contract will run on it. Yet, due to its DPoS BFT consensus, it has instant finality. So for beginners, essentially what that means is interactions on the blockchain are final within five seconds and throughput can be more than 10 times of the current Ethereum mainnet can handle with maintaining its security. Now the great thing is they already have a ton of amazing partners. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna butcher these names, so bear with me. We have Daniel Heath, the digital vice president at Nike. We have Burnt Hopcorn, the president of Chanel in Europe. We have Rajiv Akara, the vice president of digital technology at Burberry. Dr. Mervyn G. Maestri, the former CEO of Deutsche Bank. We have Dr. Anna Trebovich, the Grid Singularity and co-founder of the Energy Web Foundation. We have Peter Silagi, the lead core developer of the Ethereum Foundation. Carol Drucker, head of the strategic partnership at Instagram. Yesen Sheik, the former BlackRock director. And there are so many more great partners, wow. I am really excited to see what these people's roles are going to be with this project. So Luxo uses digital twin technology to create digital copies on the blockchain of physical goods like jacket or pair of shoes. These tokenized assets can be transferred along with their physical twin to prove ownership of an item or piece of content. It's another way for creatives to show off their collection and reputations in a digital world without having to rely off of Facebook or another centralized authority. Marjorie Hernandez said, imagine if Kim Kardashian issuing branded tokens to her millions of fans which could then be traded for real Yeezys or digital Chanel bags or converted back to Lux tokens in a future economy that's not ruled by central banks or national states. Luxo may ultimately be used as a tool to equalize power between people globally, a tool that can build systems to inspire mass participation and mass stakeholdership that are completely fluid in real time. Luxo is where the value of digital lifestyle can be made visible. Luxo has the potential to create any type of ecosystem that a developer could imagine on top of a blockchain. Historically, creative economies have been faced extreme hardships becoming economically viable, but if writers, artists, and designers were able to create stakeholdership the way YouTube turned its users into creators, but without the middleman dictating how content is ranked or censored, they could create value flows in any direction they wanted. Luxo is a tool to equalize power between people globally. We have a lot of institutions and companies that are so powerful there is no equal power anymore. A big brand has way more power than a small designer. A newspaper has more power than a bunch of independent journalists. Middlemen have been good so far, but now we're able to build content and value distribution systems without anybody in charge so you can have a pure journalist run community newspaper fully automated with paid distribution based on article consumption. Historically, there have been two central problems with blockchain. First, there are thousands of applications on the market. Their use cases are extremely limited to finance. If you're not someone who's interested in trading altcoins or wagering predictions in the market, there haven't really been many avenues for the average end user to explore. Second, blockchain's not exactly intuitive or user-friendly. Since there are no third-party password logins for blockchains, if you lose your private keys or your phone gets destroyed, then you can lose all of your assets. The interfaces are also extremely complex. What Vogelsteller plans to do with Luxo is take a page right out of his old playbook, namely his history with open source building for first user interfaces for Web3, and deliver a set of core tools and standards to make blockchains easier today than centralized account systems, and to encourage developers to create future decentralized communities, brands, and digital worlds. So that is it. I super appreciate everyone who has made it this far, and hey, if you've made it this far, please slap a like on this video. I know it takes a couple of seconds and you've heard people on a million videos ask this a lot 
lot. It does help out a ton. Every single penny YouTube gives me goes straight to charity, so please hit that little like button. It really will help out a lot, and if this channel is your jam, hitting that subscribe button will definitely help out as well. And on that note, I do live streams every single Sunday at 11 a.m. Mountain Time, so don't miss that. I ask, answer any questions, I go over the news, go over the markets, go over projects I'm, I'm interested in, and I do live streams randomly throughout the week, sometimes randomly, so hit that bell notification on, and, and that's it for me. I super appreciate again everyone who has w gone watched this far. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm stumbling my words, everyone. It's been a long night. It's already 3 a.m. Have a good one. Take care, everyone. Bye. <laughs>